Hello and very good uh, morning to everyone. So, is everyone present today? Yes. Yes, Mr. Yes, yes. Mr. Yes. And that's everyone is present today. So, uh, thanks for coming today. Sorry for the late uh, notice for our meeting for the after sale support department. Uh, so, uh, we will proceed our meeting with, uh, yes, Mr. Chun, is there any correction have been made from the our our previous meeting? No, Mr. Anas, no correction made so far. Okay, nice, that's good. Okay, so uh, first of all, I wanted to emphasize that a letter is needed to be made when you are at sense or having some delays in attending meetings, programs, work, or any of our programs uh, conducted. Okay, so Mr. Chun, you must take note of the uh, the absence or delay of any of our staff or members. Okay. Yes, Mr. Anas, I will take note of every absence and delay of any members. To whom we should send the letters to? Letters regarding any absence or delay should be should be given to me or any people in charge as soon as possible. Okay, we will keep that in mind. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Okay, never mind. So, uh, we will proceed to our second agenda for today. So, uh, can anyone post the minute uh, for the uh, four minute be accepted? I propose the minutes to be accepted. I also propose the minutes to be accepted. Okay, so uh, I would like to know any updates based on the last meeting or any matters that uh, was arising for the late uh, for the last meeting. So, as what we have discussed in the last meeting, is that we have problems in marketing our technical services. Thus, we have proposed a solution in increasing our marketing by using social media. I agree as this is one of the platform to increase our marketing in technical services. This is because nowadays people are more relying on their smartphones and computers on their daily basis. Okay, so uh, do you have any suggestion on the most uh, used uh, the media? Um, yes, uh, actually that is easiest way. We decide to start publishing in Facebook, Instagram and also Twitter as they are the most uh, widely used application. Mm, the apps needed to be published should be start as soon as possible. Yes, I agree. We have already posted few of the ads on in Facebook and Instagram. As for now, technical services done per week is quite low and some improvement in publishing ads is still needed to be done. Oh, okay. So that's uh that's good. That's a good news to to hear. Okay, hopefully uh improvement can be done quickly and may also need Needed to do some research uh, for publishing ads based on the frequency of user use the ads per day. <laughs> also, I would like to add the statistic for the service technical done for the, this month has an increase, and this show that this is an effective but slow. Hopefully, the research and improvement can be done soon. Okay, we will. So, is there any anything to add? No. Uh, no. No, Mister. No. Okay, good. Now we proceed to the next uh, agenda where there are some issues regarding with the customer satisfaction. So, these issues uh, was proposed by our staff, which is Mister Amin and Mister Azaili. So, can you guys explain more about this matter for me? Uh, yes, Mister Anas. We had a lot of complaints where customers state that the technical service done by the technical team were not providing service on scheduled time. High expectation is given towards our company and this matter really becomes a big problem. Moreover, there are also some issues where repair done has low quality and low efficiency. Repairs done only last for a few days and it starts to occur the same problem. Okay, all right. 
Okay, I understood this situation for now. So does anyone have any solution for these issues? I would like to give a solution. Basically, our problems are due to insufficient manpower and the schedule will not update frequently. I would like to suggest to the secretary to frequently check at the at update the services schedule. Thus, all of the technical staff could keep track in time of services needed to be done in the current week. Besides that, I think that our company should hire more workers in order to help for the services. This is because some of the staff require a long period of time to train the new staff. Oh, so that's, that was the good idea and suggestion. So does anyone want to add some solution? Uh, I would like to add some solution. So regarding on the on Mr. Alamin's solution, I think that we should hire workers who has more experience. Therefore, this can really help in increasing the efficiency and also the quality of service repairs that we we will done. Uh, I would like to raise my concern. Have you take any consideration about our company's budget? As we need another extra cost to hire ex experienced workers, we know their payment are quite expensive. Mm, all right, to be honest, I like both suggestion. Yes, I really like both suggestion. But we need to decide which one is the best uh, for our company. So I suggest we do some voting. Again, a concrete decision. Can we? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let us start our voting session. So, who would like to vote for the first suggestion proposed uh, by Mr. Faris? Please raise your hand. Me. Me. I would like to suggest that solution. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. That's good. Okay, uh, <clears throat> so, so now, who would like to vote for the second suggestion proposed by Mr. Al-Amin? Okay, so why? Yes, okay. okay, so after the voting session, we all agree that we are going to add more manpower instead of uh, hiring experienced worker to solve uh, the customer satisfaction issues. Oh, Mr. Chun, please take note for these issues, okay? Okay, Mr. Anas. Okay, so next, we are going to discuss our the uh, next uh, issues listed in our agenda meeting, which is reported by uh, Mr. Chun about inaccurate payment and parts quantity stock. Uh, Mr. Chun, so can you please explain this issue to us? Okay, thank you, Mr. Anas. Yeah. So recently, I found out that our equipment and parts quantity are not tally with the list provided by the technical team. So I feel like this mismanagement are not supposed coming from technical team. I demand an explanation. So uh, actually we are very sorry regarding to this matter, but I would like to emphasize that we are not provided with the latest information about the equipment and parts quantity stored. Okay, so Mr. Mr. Azairi has explained to us about the issues. So, any suggestion from anyone? I would like to suggest that our team need to have the list of equipment and parts, which will help us to to make sure the quantity of equipment and parts are similar before and after the work done, and we will update to Mr. Chun on the next morning. And I would like to add some suggestion. Uh, sorry, Salamin. Hello, hello. Uh, I am sorry, Mr. Amin. We are currently in the middle of meeting right now. I hope you can show some respect to our meeting. And if the call is an urgent matter, then you need to leave this meeting room and answer your call. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Jun. I'm sorry, everyone. Okay, so, Mr. Al-Amin, I hope you do not repeat the same mistake by answering a phone call in the middle of meeting. 
Okay. So you can actually ask my permission first before you answer your phone call. I really hope next time you have a sense of respect to our our meetings. Now, let's back to our discussion. So, Mr. Azairi, would you like to continue your suggestion? Uh, yes, I would like to continue. Thank you, Mr. Anas. So, okay. since everyone owns a mobile phone, how about we create an app to update our equipment and part from time to time? So, Mr. Chun can check anytime through the apps, but to create the apps, we need to hire an expertise. If the apps can be done, it really helps our team so much. So, Mr. Azari, as I mentioned before, if we want to kill an expert, it requires addition cost to cover their payment. Besides, it consumes a lot of time to find a very credible apps designer. Hmm. Since we do not get a concrete decision, how about we do a voting again? Who, uh, who vote the suggestion pro proposed by Mr. Faris? Please raise your hand. Me. One, mm -hmm. two, three. Okay. Now, so, who are going to vote the suggestion proposed by Mr. Azairi? Okay, I will vote. Okay, so that means you are the only one. Okay, so after our voting session again, we decided to solve this issue by applying first suggestion. So, all right. Seems now we are finished discussing all the issues listed in our meeting agenda. So, before we end our meeting, does anyone have any question to ask? No, Mr. Uh, no, no, Mr. Anna. No, no, question. No, 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 Mr. Anna. Okay, that's good. So, if so, we are uh, so we can decide our venue date and time for our next meeting, can we? So, for your record, Mr. Anas, next meeting we will held on 10 August of 2020 at meeting room 2, starting from 10 a.m. until 10 and 15. So, is there any problem for a, anyone to attend? No. No. Uh, no, there's no problem. No, Mr. Chun. There's no we problem. Can okay, that's very good. Okay, so our next meeting has been decided. So, any question? Last question? Round table? No, no Mr. Anas. No, no, Mr. Anas. Okay, that's good. Well, that uh, that's it. Uh, the, uh, that was the end of our meeting. So, thank you for your contribution, cooperation, and participant to our meeting. So, we will see you guys in our next meeting. So that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Mr. Nas. Thank you, everyone.